Hi everyone, today we're going to listen to the story of Ferdinand and we are going to think about the characters in this story and the setting. So this is just the story of Ferdinand. I'm going to move a little closer so you can see all of the pictures. Many of you might have actually seen the movie. The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain. Are you thinking about the setting already? There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say, but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. <coughs> His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Look at how big he is. Wow. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bull fights in Madrid. There they are. They're looking at the poster for the bull fight. Do you think Ferdinand wants to do that? But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughish bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Who do you think they're going to want to pick? All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, so he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on a nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at the illustration of Ferdinand's face. He definitely looks like he just got stung by a bee. Look at him. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderillos with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadaros who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. 
He thought he was very handsome and vowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. There he is. Does he look like he wants to come out? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the Banderillos were afraid of him, and the Picadoros were afraid of him, and the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Do you think that's how Ferdinand's going to fight? <laughs> But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the banderillos were mad, and the picadoros were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Here he goes back home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. There he is. So that's our story of Ferdinand for today. I hope that you really were listening to the characters and the setting of our story. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.